57 algorithms may seem a lot, but here I'll be going through the easiest way to learn full OOL. So if you already know to look OOL, you should be pretty familiar with all the cross cases. So here I won't be going through that, I'll be going straight in to the other remaining 50 OOL cases. The first case for the T-shape is this one here, where we have the T here, and we want to hold it horizontally like this, and this one has what's called headlights here, pointing towards the left. So this is the first case, and here's the algorithm. It's a sim fairly simple algorithm, it's just F, sexy, F prime. So the second T-shape is this one here. Once again, we want to hold it horizontally like this, like the previous one. But this time, we recognize this case by there not being any headlights here. So this one, this algorithm, also pretty simple. It's a sexy sledge. Moving on to the P shapes. Uh, this is the first case here. It can be recognized by there being uh, like a P shape here. Um, and then it's also recognized by the 3x1 bar of yellow here. And so the yellow here is on the right, which reminds us that we need to use our right hand for this algorithm, because there is a mirror for this one. So for this case, it's F inverse sexy F prime. Right, our next P case, um, it's on the other side now. Uh, technically, it's no longer a P, it's a Q, but it's still a P case, so we'll remember it like that. Um, this time, the bar is on the left-hand side, so we have to use our left hand for this algorithm. It's uh, the same as the last one, but just mirrored for the left hand. So, uh, F prime, then we've got the inverse sexy on the left, then F to finish off. So our next P shapes, we have this case here. Um, this can be recognized or differentiated from the other ones with there not being a bar on this side here. And now um, we notice that the P shape is towards the right. So we want to use our right hand for this algorithm. So the algorithm, here we go. Got the inverse sexy here and then that. Final P shape here. Um, it's the mirror of the other one. Once again, P shape, no bar here. P is on the left hand side, so we want to use our left hand for this algorithm, like this. And you got the inverse sexy here on the left, then undo the moves. Moving on to some fish shapes. I guess they're called fish shapes because this sort of looks like a fish. But yeah, anyway, it's called fish shapes and uh, this algorithm, um, also pretty easy to recognize, it's actually inverse sledge, and then followed by inverse sexy, like that. The next fish shape, or fish, fish case, is uh, this one here. Um, it's different from the other one because there's uh, no 2 by one block here, or here either. The, uh, the yellow is all sort of spread out on the side. Uh, we want to hold it so that the uh, square is at the front left and we do this algorithm. So the next fish shape is this one here. Um, it can be recognized because there is one less corner oriented um, and they do have only this uh, two by one block here that are matching colors, matching yellow colors. Uh, the other ones, there's no other matching yellow colors. So the way to remember it is to always hold this at the back. Now, now that it's at the back, we look at the front and we notice that we have yellow here. It's towards the right of the cube, which means that we have to use the right-handed algorithm for this one. So it goes like this. We've got the sledgehammer here, and then we put the F2O pair back with the U2 insert. All right, final fish case, this one here. Uh, once again, it's the same as the last case because, or well, similar to the last case, because there's one less corner oriented. If we're looking around, we see that the 2 by one block is here now. So remember, we want to put that always at the back. So we put it at the back here. Uh, we look at the front, and now we, we can see that the yellow sticker is now on the left side of the cube, which means that we use the left hand for this algorithm, because this is the mirrored case. So same as the last algorithm, but mirrored with our left hand. 
that and we've got the sledgehammer and then we insert using a U2 on the left side. So that was in my mind the 10 easiest OLOs to begin with. Um, these videos will go from sort of easy to difficult algorithms. So yeah, and uh, thanks for watching.